Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. We covered basics of Node.js and how to install package and how to use that package and cover all the basic topics of Node.js in our Node.js tutorial set. So please see the full tutorial and the links are provided in the description section. Right. Also we start learning on Express.js which is nothing but a Node.js framework and using Express also create some programs. I already seen routing concept so last we discussed about these things that is the gate and this is the basic routing and uh, if I just going to show here we can see here the home page and if I just want to see the blog so just write here blog and it will open the blog page so basically this is the basic things and basic routing things now for faster development or you can say organized development we need some templating engine where we can easily create a dynamic application so here if you just say we are just calling the index.html here we can see the static content also have a block.html this is the static concept and actually we actually actually we are sending the file as a response there's a reason we can see here right now to create any dynamic application we need some templating engine uh, like ejs right ejs is one of the most popular template engine and we can use this through express framework right so if you check in the package.json we installed uh, express and also installed the node one and ejs is just like a other package and we can install through the npm so simply just install this so just go here and to install ejs simply just search here ejs npm right so we'll get the link from npm.js npmjs.com so here is the installation link so just copy this and just paste here right so basically it will install ejs into your application okay so ejs is installed and now go and see we are getting the ejs so now how to use this very simple we don't need to do nothing we can change the last file and we can grab all those things so here we are just getting the path that is the public path so as it is a template engine simply we going to create a folder and this is the views folder right so why views folder actually in default whenever we will use any uh, templating that time default is views it is set for ejs right so this is the default setting right so we need to create a views file and inside views file we can create our file right so let's close this we don't need for now and here i need to say that we are using the ejs framework how express how node will understand we are going to use the ejs simply just going to set the application so simply use app dot set and just set the template engine so just view engine right here view engine okay and mention we are using ejs right so so now node will understand we are using the ejs right so if i just going to create any file so simply just uh, going to create a file that is suppose i want to display the student listing right so, or any student information so simply just create student dot ejs so remember that extension we are using ejs so the extension will be ejs right and just use a HTML broiler template and write here student list or student information okay and also you can set a heading like student information okay and if I just run this nodemon index JS and let's see what is appearing so actually it will not appear because we have not set the things here so simply let's create a route right so let's create a route here and send the link student okay 
and instead of send file we to render the file so simply use the render function and here we don't need to set this public path and we don't need all those things simply just use the view name that is student.ejs we don't need to write the extension simply if i just write student it will get it will render the student right so simply just check is there any error nothing so simply just go and write here student so here we are getting student information so this is the title and this is the heading part so actually we did these things so as for now this is a simple static concept so how to make this dynamically so to create a dynamically we need some data from database i already discussed mysql connection with node.js and also will discuss on the database but till now we have not introduced database related things into the express so for now i just creating a static data and after that when we start on database related connection then we can make a dynamic data right so for now just create a data for students simply write constant and suppose let's add student so here we'll just add the student information uh, like name so here name is john so let's make it capital john doy and let's the email so simply not in invited so simply write email and here just write john at the right email dot com uh, let's say the john's age so simply provide the 30 so this is john's age now how to pass this to a we can pass simply if i just write here this variable we can get this variable from the student ejs simple if i just write here uh, in the is to tag hello and to print the output from here so we are passing the student object so here we can write simply in this way so to print any output we need to use this type of uh, syntax right and we need to echo some things means we need to print something so we need to use equal and then we can use the object student and the name is where in the student dot name simply just write here and we can get the student name from here so we are getting hello john doy i said we can pass data to what is the second way suppose if i want to change some variables and then i want to get access from here so every time when we change these things and we need to change here and suppose i am changing the name of the variable suppose data right and uh, if i just want to check and if i just want to pass this data into here so i already using student so we don't need to change here so every time we don't need to change as we change the variable so here simply write student data right so actually data is passing through the student so now if i just refresh this we'll get the same output no problem and still if we want to access uh, this type of things uh, like uh, hello student name and email is and what is the uh, key that is email so simply write email will get the email also the email is john and if i just want to print the age also simply write in this way so not h1 every time you can write a p also right so actually it will work for uh, every html syntax right as it is a view file and we can print by using this syntax so simply write age and write age is 20 right or 20 or 30 whatever you pass so age is 30 remember one thing so here to print any data always we need to use the equal sign so if i just remove this then we cannot see this output right so by using these things we can make a condition or something right so to print something we need to use this type of syntax and after that the equal sign right so this is basic things and how we can use the ejs and this is the installation process and how to send data to the view file so next day i am going to show you some looping concept and along with that i want to 
check any condition suppose like uh, e fails right so next we are going to discuss about these things and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day